Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As we continue covering iOS 13 here on the channel, for today's video, we have a battery comparison of iOS 12.4 versus iOS 13. Now I'm going to start off with some of the newer devices and trickling down to the older devices as well. So ton of content coming your way. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to continue seeing coverage of iOS 13. So first up, the iPhone 10s Max on iOS 12.4. There it is, iOS 12.4, iPhone 10s Max. The single core score on this one is relatively good, 4821, and the multi-core score, 11,000. 377. Now I did run a benchmark on iOS 13 as well. So the single core score 4796 single core score slightly slightly below iOS 12.4 but nothing major and the multi core score 11500 and 11 so that's a little higher on ios 13 in comparison to ios 12.4 now let's take a look here at the iphone 10s so taking a look at ios 12.4 and the iphone 10s we see that we have 48 19 single core score and the multi-core score 11,432 compared to iOS 13, which has 4808 single core score. That makes it slightly below on single core score and 11,504 multi-core score, which brings it slightly higher on multi-core score for iOS 13. So iOS 13 definitely taking advantage of the multi-core on the iPhone. So let's go here to the iPhone 10R, iOS 12.4, very similar numbers on the iPhone 10R as 4,819 and the multi-core score 11,432. Compare that to iOS 13 on the iPhone 10R, 4,806, which makes it slightly again, slightly below on single core score and the multi-core score 11,369. In this case, the multi-core score on the 10R was slightly below the performance that of iOS 12.4 versus iOS 13. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and show you guys the time lapse of all these iPhones, these three iPhones here running with the exact same settings enabled, the same tasks were performed and all the settings were identical. The brightness was at 90% on all three devices. Everything was pretty much identical in the same tasks were performed on these devices that was launching applications, browsing the web, just doing normal day-to-day -day stuff. And let's go ahead and take a look at that time lapse. From left to right, we have the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, and iPhone 10R on iOS 12.4. The first device to die on iOS 12.4 was the iPhone 10R with nine hours in 15 minutes of screen on time. Now next was the iPhone 10s with 10 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time and the monster, the iPhone 10s Max with a whopping 12 hours and 20 minutes of screen on time on iOS 12.4. Now let's take a look at iOS 13 again from left to right, the iPhone 10s, 10s Max and 10R. The first device to die on iOS 13 was the iPhone 10R once again with nine hours and 30 minutes of on-screen time. That gives it approximately 15 minutes extra of on-screen time on iOS 13 for the iPhone 10R. Then the iPhone 10S with 10 hours and 35 minutes of on-screen time. That's approximately five to 10 minutes extra of battery life on iOS 13. And last but not least, the iPhone 10S Max with a whopping 12 hours and 30 minutes of on-screen time, which gives it an additional 10 to 15 minutes of extra on-screen time on iOS 13. So after hours upon hours of testing iOS 12.4 versus iOS 13, iOS 13 Beta 1 slightly improves upon the battery on the newer devices, so that's a total plus. Now, the only settings that was different from iOS 12.4 to iOS 13 was, of course, iOS 13 on these devices was running on dark mode. That feature is not available on 12.4, so that is the only variant here, but iOS 13 looks to be improving upon the battery out of the gate. Now, hopefully this continues on the trend until the official release, but those are the numbers. I hope you guys enjoy these videos that take hours upon hours to film. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.